Hey, what's up guys? Um, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I'd make a video talking about my semester 2 experience at AUT since you guys seem to have enjoyed the last video where I talked about um, my first semester. So yeah. Um, basically semester 2, overall I think it was more like enjoyable I guess. Um, because I got to chose classes that I wanted to take rather than just doing like the compulsory ones. Um, by the way I have notes on my phone which is why I may look down but yeah so my minor um is gonna be data analytics and my major is, inf is information systems but um because i knew i wanted to do summer school and i had like done my research and um the information systems paper is during summer school so i didn't take any like information system papers during my second semester um but yeah so basically i'll just go through all the papers that i took and kind of explain like my experience with them and like whether or not yeah i would recommend it i guess um so yeah this video is going to be quite specific so i don't know if it actually will help um like everybody but i guess if you're thinking of doing similar stuff to me or maybe you just want to hear about like what the assignment structure and stuff is like i don't know it could still be helpful so yeah anyways um I guess I should start by saying that I didn't. I was pretty lucky that I didn't have any like massive lectures this semester. Like all my classes were pretty small, like maybe a max of like 30 people, which is good because I prefer classes where you actually like interact with people rather than just like sitting there and listening to someone talk for like three hours. Where, um, so yeah, okay. So starting off with like my favorite papers, I guess to my least favorite. So I took four papers. And my favourite was Spanish, um, I think it was called Spanish 1A, but it's just the first, like, introduction to Spanish paper. Um, and yeah, I was pretty excited, like, I really wanted to learn a new language, so I decided to do Spanish. Um, and, like, having already learnt a bit of Italian, like, I thought it was going to be pretty easy, and it actually was, at least for me. Um, like, I had... I uh, already taught myself a little bit of Spanish, plus like I watch a lot of shows in Spanish, so for me the class was pretty easy, like we started off learning um, just basic readings and stuff, but then it did, like we did have to do quite a lot of vocabulary, so if you're starting from like zero Spanish at all, it might be a bit difficult, but I think as long as you like turn up to the classes and you put in a little bit of study, like it's pretty hard to fail. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was definitely my favourite class, um, for me it was the easiest, like I spent maybe half the time that I did um, on Spanish than my other classes so yeah um, I think the teacher was really good as well she was from Spain and like the classes were quite interactive so you were like speaking and like talking to others instead of just you know learning about the grammar and like studying that so yeah that was Spanish my second paper was called foundations of data strategy um, I didn't mention like what the class hours were like so basically all my classes were like three hours except for ethics um which was two so yeah they were in like three hour blocks which is pretty good because like i'd rather have a three hour class on one day than have to go in like for one hour on three different days if that makes sense so yeah that was like a pro i guess um so data strategy was um it's for my minor which is data analytics and essentially it's just like high school statistics that's what it feels like or maybe like a bit more advanced from high school statistics so we learn about like probability and like just forecasting and like graphs and stuff so yeah it's like it's very much just learning the basics of like kind of how to like analyze um numbers and stuff um so the assignments were basically we had two assignments um throughout the semester and they were 15 percent each um i found them pretty easy like as long as you turned up to class um it was pretty easy to get like a pluses and then the mid-semester exam was 20%, and then we had a final exam, which was 50%. So overall, I, f I had a pretty good experience with the class. I think the lecturer was, like, he definitely knew what he was talking about, and the lectures are pretty full-on. Um, so it's not like one of those lectures where you can just sit there for two hours. Like, you actually have to be, like, paying attention and constantly, like, writing stuff down and taking notes, which, I don't know, I kind of enjoy that more, because sometimes I feel like if I'm just sitting there doing nothing, like, I might as well just be at home. So yeah, um, that was a really good class. I definitely recommend it if you guys are thinking of doing it. Um, next class that I took was called Ethics, Responsibility and Sustainability. So this is actually a compulsory paper um, if you want to do a Bachelor of Business. 
Um, oh, by the way, I should say that like the degrees and the papers and stuff can change from year to year. So at the time of recording this, which is like at the start of 2020, um, all this information is accurate. But obviously, if you're watching this at a later date, uh, make sure you do your own research um, so that you're not taking like the wrong papers or anything like that. So yeah, ethics, um, normally people do it in their second year, but I had a friend who said she was taking it in semester two, so I thought that's a good idea, like why not just do it now and get it over with. Um, plus there wasn't really anything else I wanted to do anyway, so yeah, I decided to take that. Um, overall I found this class pretty easy, like, um, yeah, it's just, if you're good at writing and like, it just, you know, like those types of subjects, like humanity subjects, then it's pretty easy. Um, so the assignments were like uh, an ethics report, which was 30%. Um, and then there was a group project, which was 35%. And um, the exam was, again, was 35%. So an interesting thing about the exam was that all the questions were literally released like months beforehand. So basically you could just prepare all of your answers and just memorize all of them and then just go into the exam and just literally just regurgitate it all out, which I guess was a good thing but at the same time it's like well you it's literally just a memory test like what are we actually learning but yeah so that was pretty easy um as long as you like prepare for the exam obviously you know you already have the questions so you can have like your answers already memorized so yeah overall um it was pretty good like the lectures were a little bit boring i found like um, it was, it's kind of one of those classes where, like, all the information is on the PowerPoint, so it's kind of, like, up to you if you want to turn up or not. But, yeah, either way, um, it was decent. Like, I think it's an important class, obviously, you know, ethics, sustainability. Um, so I definitely think it is an important class, and it is compulsory, so you'll have to do it anyway, whether you want to or not. Um, and then the last paper that I did was Introduction to Programming. So this, again, was part of the data analytics minor so going into it I didn't really know what to expect like I was kind of like excited because I, I always liked um, the idea of like learning how to you know program and computer science and stuff so I went into it with a pretty good you know pretty good attitude I want to say um, but overall like I don't think it's the content as such but like unfortunately I think that like the teacher can really make or break and yeah I just think that it wasn't taught like very well in the sense that like it moved very very fast I think like in the teacher in his mind everything was like really easy but like I had never done so but basically the whole thing was like done uh, we were learning how to use Python um, and yeah he just like the way he explained it, it went really really fast and I think most people were like struggling to keep up because obviously you know we're business students so we don't really know how to program um, so yeah that was a pretty hard class um, the assessments were weekly assignments, which were like a total of 2% each, I think. Um, and then that added up to 20%. And then a mid-semester exam, which was 20%. Um, and also another assignment, which was 20%. And then the final exam was 40%. So this was definitely the hardest class for me. Like, I ended up failing, like, the mid-semester exam and the assignment. But overall, I still got, like, B+. So I would just say, if you are thinking of doing this, definitely, like... You have to spend a lot of your own time just learning how to use Python, like watch YouTube videos, you know, do your research outside of class because the class isn't necessarily going to teach you how to do it. So, yeah, overall, um, it's, I mean, it's not impossible, but I think to do well, it is a lot harder. Um, if you do have like a computer science background, then you probably will find it a lot easier. But yeah, I would say unless you really have to do this paper, I wouldn't really recommend it. Like, um... I just think like there's a lot of other papers that are like like foundations of data strategy that one I don't know I had a lot better experience personally in that paper so yeah looking back um I don't think I would change anything because I still kind of like needed this paper just to get my minor well not needed but yeah I wanted to do it so that to just get like two of my minor papers out of the way I guess I don't know if that makes sense but yeah overall that's it for my experience um Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, I found it a little bit helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!